So I have been a little bit out of pocket lately. I'm putting up an outbuilding on our property here. Um, I wanted to get back with a um, uh, an axe review modification video. Um, and I've chosen this 22 ounce Vaughn carpenter's axe, builder's hatchet, half axe, hammer axe, whatever you want to call it, rigging axe. Um, this is just a really versatile tool. Um, of course, it's got the hammer side. Uh, Vaughn does make a, a rigging axe that has a waffle head, very, very wide waffle head. Uh, this is a smooth face. Um, and at 22 ounces, it's a, it's a really capable tool, not too light, but not too heavy. Um, I do have the 28 ounce shingling hammer from Vaughn and I really like it. I've even used it for framing. It does have a nice big waffle head uh, and it's very, very well balanced. Um, so I picked this up. It was the last one I had at Lowe's and uh, I decided, you know, this is, this is a tool that I think is in a very good price point. And uh, I, I noticed with just a couple of modifications on it, I think it could be just an excellent all around building tool, um, carving axe, just, you know, something to uh, go camping with, throw in your truck, even do some, you know, landscaping, things like that. Um, and so what I'm planning to do is it, it, ha it, it really wants to be a carver, you know, that, that's, that's what I've decided. But this is not enough space to choke up and put your finger in. So I'm going to carve a finger well here up by uh, where the handle meets the, the bit. Uh, and then there is a remnant of the drop forging process back here that I'm going to grind away. Of course, I'll take off this, um, um, this, this wrap, um, some of the stickers, and, uh, and maybe just polish up this head a little bit, take off the lacquer. But I want to leave the blue. Um, I'm not going to do a whole lot to this axe because I, I don't think it needs a whole lot. Um, I really like that it is made in the USA and that is not from domestic and global components. This is 100% made in the USA uh, out of Hebron, Illinois. Uh, and I think, I think that is awesome so, on the back. So um, I'm gonna get started here. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna do uh, is, is carve out this finger well here. So throw it in the vise and we'll get started. And already it's it's a lot more comfortable. And I tell you what, this little Dremel, I'm happy I went to the Dremel instead of an angle grinder because that is not hot at all. Um, but I think I am going to take this even a little further here. And that is already a lot more comfortable. And you can see, I think it just looks, it, it has a better look to it too. It looks a little bit more finished now. So now we'll move on to the back here. We'll take that bit off. how well they work but if you look at that it took that took that uh, die mark off very very nicely and I am gonna scrape off all the lacquer and of course the stickers And I do, I do have a card scraper that I use sometimes, but you know, the, the blade of a knife works just great for this too. Over here. And 
already this is starting to look like a I mean like a tool that you'd want to use that you'd want to pick up you know if you saw this line on the job site you know at least I, I'd be curious about it and kind of want to check it out a little bit um, and just with such minimal effort um, I'm gonna touch this up a little bit here You know, that is exactly what I needed on a day like today where it's 90 degrees with 90% humidity. <laughs> Running the blowtorch in the shop. All right. So now we're gonna go to a, a mixture here of uh, raw linseed oil, pine tar, and just a little bit of borax. Um, I put borax in there kind of more or less as an experiment, but uh, borax is a, um, it's a natural antibacterial. So it's an antifungal. And in theory, it should <clears throat> help protect the ax handle uh, from that fungus. But uh, in the event that it doesn't do anything at all, it's not going to hurt anything because uh, it is completely natural and non-toxic. All right, so I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes. So you get the general idea. This came out wonderful. Um, for, a, for under 25 bucks, this is really hard to beat. Um, we'll take it outside. So it came out beautifully. The handle feels great. It feels really, really good. Um, I can choke up on it with no problem at all. It, uh, it is just a real, real joy to use. And this is all seasoned oak. So it is, um, it's not something to uh, work with lightly. You know, and this stuff is about the size that you'd be working with with an axe like this. Um, and I imagine this would even be a great thrower. I really do. It's, it's so well balanced, it feels great. So, you know, if you're a green wood carver or um, just an outdoors person. This is a box box. This is a, it's a great little ax. It really is. Look at that, they're just dogs. <laughs> Leg up and everything. Hey girl. Hi, did you come to see me? One thing she does that just infuriates me though is she chews on my axe handles. So I can't I can't leave them out. Even for a little bit. 
little bit of time. Otherwise, you know, she'll just leave indentations. Watch out, box, box. You like chewing on that? So, I mean, there you go. Um, this is just a great little ax, great little hatchet. Cleans up so nicely, just a very classic look. Priced right, made in America. You can't go wrong, pick it up. So. And more than just an ax, these are uh, 16 penny nails. So there you go. Uh, super, very, very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Very, very versatile. Ergonomic, chokes up, you can carve with it. Um, and with that spot removed in the back, you can choke up on it so nicely. Looks good, functions well, uh, and perhaps just as importantly, it is, it's priced right at $24.98. So um, I can highly recommend this. So for me, this is one of those tools that checks all the boxes. It has a lot of features that I find extremely useful from the hammer pole to the, um, now that I have modified it, a finger well here for choking up while carving. Um, obviously the bit, uh, it is the right weight. Uh, the handle is the right length. Um, this is fantastic. It can be used for, as you've seen, everything from driving three and a quarter inch uh, framing nails to processing kindling. Uh, and I imagine this would make a great throwing ax, um, especially for the price at uh, $24.98. Um, th this, is, this is just a, an ax that packs a lot of punches plus. I love the fact that it is, as it says, made in the USA and not just from, what is it, domestic and global components. <laughs> you know, um, I saw the other day on Rose Anvil, who does a lot of shoe and boot deconstructions, um, he mentioned that a lot of shoe manufacturers put a felted, very light felted surface on the soles of their shoes because then it's legally classified as a slipper and um, not a shoe, so it's subject to lower import tariffs. And I suspect that is the reason uh, avoiding import tariffs, why a lot of these companies are turning that last screw, um, so to say, in the US, rather than a desire to actually support a thriving, robust American economy. Um, they're just trying to avoid paying taxes to the government for importing tools that are really made somewhere else, getting them over here. Um, so I like the fact that everything about this is made in the U.S. from the steel to the American hickory, um, made in the U.S., assembled in the U.S., sold in the U.S. I just love that. I love everything about it. Um, so I am really happy to say that uh, not only was this tool priced right, um, everything I've used it from so far, it has functioned very well. Through um, this very capable axe, use it for throwing, use it for construction, use it for camping. Um, whatever you use it for, I think you're going to like it. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.